So my brothers and sisters, a quick reminder, those of you who are in zones where the masajid have been opened or are gradually opening, please be responsible. As excited as we are, we must remember saving lives is still our duty. We must remember as much as the lockdown or the restrictions may be disappearing, the virus has not disappeared. In some of our countries, it is actually increasing. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. That having been said, in some quarters, I heard people say, well, if you're meant to die, you're meant to die. While that statement has a little bit of truth in it, what is intended from it in that context is not something that a believer should be saying without confirming that first part of it. And that would be once you've done whatever you could do, then if something were to happen and you had to die, you were meant to die. So the first part of that statement is very important. It's not that we become people who take things for granted or that we don't want to take any more precautions or that because we're believers, we don't care. In fact, a believer is the one who is supposed to care even more. A believer is the one who is supposed to be even more conscious of life of sickness, of the spread of evil, the spread of anything harmful. It is prohibited upon a believer to spread something harmful, even if it were just a foul smell from your own mouth. Imagine a disease. Imagine something that was really harmful to the lives of people, let alone just a stench or a smell from your mouth. My brothers and sisters, if you are unwell, if you have a health condition, if you have underlying conditions, if you are from among those who are old and frail, remember, you don't have to go and you should not be going into the public places, even if it be a place where people have gathered, such as a masjid to pray when you are sick and ill, don't go there. So my brothers and sisters, let's remember, let's not drag those who are vulnerable into a situation where they might harm themselves even more. People may argue and they may say, like I said earlier, well, if it's meant to happen, it's meant to happen. My brothers and sisters, those statements are dangerous. Let's use them responsibly. Yes, like I said, the statement does have some truth in it, but it's used in a context of deception. So my brothers and sisters, let's take the precautions. Learn to wash your hands. Learn not to touch your face or your mouth when you've touched other surfaces. Learn to keep your hands to yourselves for now. Learn, subhanallah, the precautions that are being taught. Learn to put on a mask wherever applicable. Learn to look out for others at the same time. Let's talk about cleanliness. Let's talk about the precautions and let's take them seriously.